Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. We are about to make our way to the exit of Dongrest. Last episode, we were finally able to start up the damn title side quest. We had enough titles to finally start up that side quest. Uh, he gave us the bunny ears, and we need we need to equip bunny ears on, I believe, one of the girls. And if we have it on for five hours, we get a trophy? And that might give us a title as well for one of the girls. So we just need to make sure we have the bunny ears attached for at least five hours because it is very important for getting the 100% believe it or not um I'm not really digging the gold blade anymore um so we're just gonna go back to my man Ash Ash catch him Ash catch them hands so here we go so we're gonna go to the exit and we're gonna be on our way to Mount Timza where are Carol and Patty what is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it. <laughs> Rita was the main person hating on Judith. She didn't hate Judith, but she hated the persona of Judith. <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself going to come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. Hey, Patty. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mmm... It doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. His own agenda? I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desier by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship. Reunited with everyone. Repeat's like, man, my team lost. I'm mad. Everyone, wait. Usopp is coming. Wait. Usopp. Carol. Carol. Wait. I'm going with you I might not fully understand the things that Don wanted to tell me yet but brave Vesperia is my no our guild so so I've got to come with you guys Carol 
I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... That's why I've gotta go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds. I think. Hmm, yeah. Quite juvenile, uh, isn't it? Where'd you come from? Ah, <laughs> hey, old man! <laughs> Ma, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right. We'll leave it at that. Oh, man. These kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively. It's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Oh my god, her face. <laughs> Patty's face is derpy, dude. Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. <laughs> right. Right. So are we going or aren't we? We going, we going, bro. Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! All right, so before we uh, go any further, we can now do a few side quests. Hit, hit, hit. We're gonna go right back to Dongrest. Our swords for freedom, our shield for friendship, our lives for the common good. The Union Oath, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. I. Well. We'll just have to take up the oath for Don and Eifried then, won't we? Well, Don, looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and Eifried once carried. All right. And now it's rainy again. Aw, oh, man. So we're going to get our asses right back. Damn it. Surprise attack. Who am I playing, Patty? I suppose I could try. Howler. Oh, nice. What was that? Tiger. 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 Tiger uppercut. Tiger. Tiger knee. Tiger. Tiger. Tiger shot. Tiger. Tiger. Hey, Tony. I like the things you do. All right, anyway, enough of my random babbling. We are here in Dongress to trigger a few quests that we can do right now. And if we sleep at the end several thousand times, we can get some stuff for Carol. And there's also one thing we can do right now for Estelle. If we go over here to the tavern, we'll be able to trigger the third part of the quest with Drake and Aubrey Graham. Don Whitehorse was a real man, wasn't he? Aye. I'm sure you felt the weight of that in your blade as his second. I'm sorry I made you shoulder that burden. It's all right. Unbelievable. Why would he accept that role? Do you think Yuri is really all right? 
He's not all right, but I imagine he'll be able to sort it out in his own mind. That lad's got real resolve. Resolve? Do you mean like with Rago and Q more? Aye. Once he's made up his mind and taken up a task, he'll see it done no matter how heavy it is. It's an exhausting path, one this old man could never take. Hmm, you aren't alone in that. All folks like us can do is keep an eye on the lad as he does what he needs to. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Drake, where you at, Drake? Is that man injured? Back when we had the standoff with Palastrada, he got crushed in the stampede of onlookers, and he ended up like that. Damn, he got, he got Mufasa. Hey Estelle, damn it, she's always has to be like this. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're going to heal me, and then I'll owe you tons of money, huh? That's quite a scam. No, that's not true at all. The man wants to die, Estelle. You should leave him alone. You think I'm gonna die from a puny little wound like this? Even a little scratch can get infected, and then that infection can spread through your whole body and then you die. It happens a lot. You can't be serious. Let's go, Estelle. Please hold still. It shouldn't hurt anymore. Sorry to keep you waiting. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Why would you use your healing arts on someone who tells you not to? Master, I just wanted to make that person happy. Every single one of these princesses' actions is exceedingly meaningful. Countless people are affected by what you do, and if you're not careful, they can result in confusion. Isn't it better than sitting around doing nothing at all? Yuri, sometimes the best course of action is taking no action at all. That's true in cer situations, certain situations. What about all the people back in Holur that is still helped? They're grateful for what she did. Are you aware that due to that action, a strange rumor of the appearance of a princess of redemption has taken the shape? What's so bad about that? Once you get people's hopes up, they expect these from you. And these expectations grow and grow until their hopes are finally dashed against reality. Once you fail to live up to the expectations, people become discontented and this results in chaos. Hey, that's their fault. That's their issue for getting their hopes up in the first place over rumors. But, but, luckily none of the townspeople are aware that their princess of redemption is in fact the princess herself. I, to rule an empire, you must think rationally and not be swayed by fleeting emotion. You are not cut out to sit on the imperial throne. It would be better if you stepped down from the candidacy as soon as possible. Damn, Drake. Here, take this. This is the Imperial Crest. Look at that and put some thought into your actions. Hey, keep your chin up. I'm okay, Master Drake told me to put some thought into what I'm doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think about whether my actions are really the right ones for a future Empress. Thank you. All right, Imperial Crest. We need that for a key idol. For our collection book. So we got that. Now we need to go sleep at the end. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, 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 hey. I wanna see something cool. You know, brush your shoulder off, waves at you. That's pretty cool, right? Here we go. So we need to sleep at the end uh, several times to get some rewards for Carol. So let's do it. All right, this is the first time for sharing a bed with your boy. I can't sleep. Hey, Carol, can't sleep? I had this bad dream. Bad dream? I was dreaming that everyone was about to die, and I was trying to run to save them, but no matter how hard I ran, I, I never got any closer. I hate dreams like that. I, I really do hate dreams like that. And I hate the ones where you're trying to speak up to warn somebody, but it's like your voice doesn't come out. It's like you're trying to have an argument to, to get your point across, but your voice, you're trying to speak, but it nothing comes out. It, that shit sucks. I got so scared that I woke up. 
Well, if you can't sleep, at least you won't be keeping us up with all your noise. At least you won't be keeping us up with all your noise. <laughs> you don't know? Well, maybe that makes sense, Carol. You talk in your sleep a lot. How would I know that? I'm asleep when it happens. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Carol, if you're still shaking up about the Don's death, it's not just what happened to the Don. I don't know what I should do for Brave Vesperia. I don't even know what I can do. I see. And that's why I've been having some trouble sleeping. Nah, not me. I'm a man of action. Thinking about things too much just makes my head hurt. I prefer moving my body rather than those rusty gears in my head. It suits my personality better. Um, can relate. Totally can relate. I ain't got time to stress myself out about a whole bunch of things that could happen. Uh, and just, you know, stress myself out. I'm a guy that likes to do stuff, you know. Your personality, huh? I wonder what suits my personality better. Maybe if you went to sleep and had a good dream, it would help you figure things out a bit. I can't keep running away to my dreams. You wouldn't be running away. You'd be dreaming so that you can come back to us. I'm sure once I go back to the inn and I'll lie down, I'll be able to sleep. Don't worry about me. You go on ahead. Gotcha. All right, character development for Carol. Hey, Carol, I'm going to need you to develop fast so we can get Judy. Even if he reasons things out in his head, his heart is slow to follow suit. I guess that's just how he is. Insomniac. Hey, we got to do this for the titles, baby. So apparently in this game, there is... A 100% chance that we'll go get a sleep or we'll get a chance for us to get this next thing with Carol immediately. Because before you had to sleep and randomly it would happen on the Xbox 360 version. Like there was a chance that you could get it or the chance you wouldn't get it. You just had to keep paying money and sleeping. I have to, I have to get stronger. Yeah. Look at Harry. We gotta sleep several hundred times. How would you have known this if you didn't like play the, the game multiple times or didn't have a guide or someone to tell you? Like, Jesus. Yikes! All right, we need to do this two more times. Is Harry McDougal. The McDougal brother. Harry McDougal? Weren't you practicing here last time too? Oh yeah, I always have trouble sleeping whenever, whenever I come back to the city. Because of the Don? Yeah, I want to be strong like he was. Every time I think of what he did, I feel like I have to work harder. You can borrow this. Whoa! It's the sword that the Don used. It's heavy. It feels heavier than it looks. It's all the responsibility of holding the guild together is contained in that sword. Wow. Yeah. I'll let you use it whenever you're practicing here. It should make for better training than what you had in the past. I can use this sword? I'm just lending it. I'm lending it to you, okay? Just remember that. You have to give it back in the morning. I still need to work on mastering it myself. Thank you. All right, let's get it. Damn, he's swinging real fast. Damn, Carol upgrading. My man getting them gains. Making them gains. Got to sleep two more times. Two more times. And we get a really worthwhile reward. Whoa. Your stance is still too weak. You'll never be as good as fighter as the Don will. Ah, rarg. That's it. Imagine your opponent in front of you. And swing the sword just so. My dude getting it. Dun, 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 dun. Rising up. Back on the scene. Wow, Yuri, that's rude. You turn your back on the end keeper? While talking to him? You don't, you don't speak TP? You don't look him in the eye when you speak to him? One more attack and then take a break. Dragon uppercut. 
Ooh, nice. Looks like you've gotten pretty good at using his sword. Maybe, but I still have a long way to go. Huh? Looks like you surpassed me. What do you mean? You've learned the weapon art that's stored in that weapon. Oh, I see, but what's this art? The Don used this weapon. It's got to be a good one, right? Seems like it. You surpassed me. You won't need to borrow this weapon anymore, I think. Right. Thank you, Harry. Carol learned this special skill. And with this skill, you can do mystic art. Yeah, boy. Our first character in the game to have a mystic art is the character that we kind of don't really use personally, but we're going to give him it. Trigger Mystic Art would over limit level 3 or above. Hold circle after an arcane art. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it show? Ultra Punishing Swing. Nope. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to like farm Mystic Art usage. <laughs> Imagine having to freaking farm Mystic Art usage. That would just be a pain in the ass. That would take like at least a thousand hour each for each character. But it'd be very useful though. But there is one side quest we can do currently. But we're just going to wait to do that. Because we are about to get a new method of travel pretty soon. And that's going to really help our uh, exploration game. And once we are able to do that, we'll be able to um, pretty much pretty much box all types of enemies and obtain all types of new equipment. First things first, we need to make sure we get on our boat. And before we get on our boat, last time we got on our boat in this uh, portion of the game, uh, our game crashed. So I just want to say it before getting on the boat. All right, so now we need to head to Timza, Timza Lominza. Do 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 boo do boo, bump bump ba dum bum dum. All right, so we gotta go southwest. There's a beach I think we might be able to land on around the desert area. You know, previously, previously to my knowledge, there were ships blocking the area off, but those ships should be gone now. So we should be able to get to, we should be able to get in here without any problems. Yeah, because before this used to be blocked off by uh, ships to prevent you from getting over here. All right, here we go. So Yormgen's right there. We're gonna check out Yormgen real. Oh yeah, oh yeah, new enemies, new enemies. Let's get it. Let's eliminate them. Sword beak, we the sword beak. You can get your ass beat. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, hold that, hold that. Oh, uh, don't go on. Them. Tiger blade, tiger her blade, tiger her blade. I'm gonna tiger that girl's blade. We gotta see if they give us the cockatrice beaks or whatever. Honker. Silver ore. Oh man, doggo doggo, please steal for us. Oh yeah, look at this. We got Sinbad in the desert now. This looks easy. Don't get careless. Hey right, doggo, magic lens. Rashido. We need to see the sorceress in the back. Druid. Alright. Here. Here. Okay, semi-auto, huh? Ghost Wolf! Ghost 
Damn, that was deadly. We're roof. Alright, who's next? Blade of noble light. In another. Alright, here we go. Yay! Ba da 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 ba da 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 Alright, we did it! I will use this power for justice. You better. Better use that damn power for justice, girl. So let's see what they got. Collector's book. See what those girls got. Green. Da -da -da -da. Bandido. Takami Kazuchi. Oh, goo dude, that's good. We can sell these weapons. We can steal the weapons and sell them. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. Sand Thief. What is the female human? Druid. Grim War page. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Dude, we got Wiggles. We got Wiggles now, dude. Man, could you be any weaker? Man, could you be any Don't freaking weaker, bro? Don't let him trip you up. You got some new arts, don't you, man? Sonic Return. Da, 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 da. Sonic Return, huh? Silver War, baby. You can't get away. Oh, will you lose as much as your favor? Oh, yeah, come here. Dun, 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 dun. Spread Zero. Tractor Beam. Blade Roll. So, Spiral Flare. Tractor Beam. Stalagmite. <laughs> that is so good. Damn. Yuri's getting his ass whooped. Here we go. Ah, dog. Let's go. She messing up the sauce. Hey, man. All right, here we go. So we want to steal from these guys. 100%. We want to get these Takamika Zuchis and sell them. What the? What, what? Uh, we're not going to do that. Orange gel. Alright, I'm on it. All right, we got another one. Don't overdo it. Oh, I got stabbed. His life bottle. Are you okay? Thanks. Like this. What the? What the? Bring them back from the abyss of death. I'll blow you away. Bruh, I couldn't do anything about that. <laughs> I literally had to wait until the animation was done. What 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 the here? Here. Damn, he tried to put a combo on me. Bruh, and he poisoned me. Like, really? What a what a what a sucker he is. Okay. He's a cod sucker. I said cod. I'm not gonna cook yet. 
talking Mikazushi. We got three of those bad boys. We did get some silver ore as well. We got a druid right there. Damn! He can't he came at me all wrong. We do battle with all our might. Alright, you wanna come at me like that, dude? Y'all y'all all about to catch this word. Yo, y'all really don't do that? Of course. What the? What the? My God, dude. Um. Get out of here, you bum. Out of here with your high damage. The sign of victory. Patty, how are you messing up? I will use this power for they keep messing up my goddamn foods. There we go. How do you mess up meat sauce? It's literally meat and some sauce. Some goddamn meat sauce. How do you mess that up? I hear you people have brought us the clear Sierra crystal. Yep, that was me. It's time to see if these guys got anything in store for me. Anything new for me. Gotta restock on recipe ingredients. Give me this, give me that. Give me all this too. Give me all this. We need one more for that. Goofy glasses. Tell you what. Hairpins, let's get it. Let's get it. We need to get attachments. We need to get all the attachments in the game. So angry glasses, boom. Grinning glasses we can get. Nerdy glasses we can also get. Not gonna do that because eight man coat, mandrake eye, running low on. All right, anything new for weapons? Probably not. But we can make a lot of new stuff once we get more silver ore. Which I'm going to need to grind for. And yes, I will be staying at the end. Also, we're going to try to see how much those Takamika, uh, Takamisa Zuchis, Takamika Zuchis sell for. Hopefully for at least 800. No, hopefully for like a thousand or something, man. Golly. Anyway. Oh, that's really good. 1950, dude. We can still we can steal these pretty easily. Oh yeah. That's gonna be lovely. Look how much money we just got from stealing that. So we just found a way to get some money. So we need to stock up on a few of these resources. Life bottles we were just using like a mug. Yeah, we're about to come to a couple of bosses that might make us waste some resources. Alright. That's really good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, here we go. Damn, dude, there's a pile of bones up there. I, I'm pretty sure that's actually a resource deposit that we can just look at. Um, we're just not even gonna go over there and waste our time right now because if we advance the story Getting all these res like getting all these items will come a hell of a lot easier Or reaching these areas with these like dragon bones is gonna be a lot easier for us. So let's just focus on getting through So how do you avoid encounters like this on the world map easy you save the game right before you get into the encounter and then you load so you don't have to waste any holy bottles. Got him. That's the tech. 
it seems like cheap but hey sometimes it's just best to do that just to avoid fights check it out we're gonna do the tech again boom bam what you gonna do about it exactly what are you gonna do about me doing that nothing all right so we made it inside and here we are welcome to mount temza hey this place looks it sounds pretty calm <gasps> these are human footprints right there sure are a lot of them hmm. i hope this isn't uh nan's footsteps could it be the hunting <laughs> blades that or it might be the knights but why would the knights be here well, flynn was looking for apathea too if that's what the hunting blades are doing here then the knights could be here for the same reason why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on epithea all of a sudden it was so pretty all sparkly and glittery i'm sure it's incredibly valuable we never had the chance to get an explanation from the dawn if judy will clue us in on what she knows things might clear up judy i wonder if she'll tell us I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri! My hey, dude is just looking... You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! <laughs> oh, man. My dude, his shades are making him look great. Yo, look at this. Mount Timza. This place looks pretty neat. What the heck is this? The mountain's been flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here 10 years ago, that I'm sure of. Looking pretty fresh, Raven. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. 10 years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... That voice. Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's all right. Let's hurry. Is that you, freak? You're a freak. Tent. We got a tent. That feels good. Feels good, man. Dude, I am moving so quick. Holy cow. Mickey Mouse, thank you for the host. You're the host with the most. I appreciate it. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. That's what um, he said. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? Really? So this was where the war took place? We're standing on history, boys and girls and dogs. Yeah, so that's what means thought. humans <laughs> and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelikea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. I thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually in Telekea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? 
Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. I mean, did you just see how she like handled like half the other bosses? Did you see how she handled the boss in the desert and the boss at the Coliseum? She destroyed Delius once we got the goddamn secret mission. It was insane. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Got to give her the beat down. Oh, well, we got a Trent over there. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed. The Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... Ah, uh, uh, you stupid human. Ah, uh. oh, I'm angry. Bring Man, it on. Could you be any weaker? Don't let him. Could you be any weaker, bro? Heavy bottom. This dude's name is Heavy Bottom. Yeah. Heavy Bottom Bros. You know how it goes. We be throwing blows. Shining Dragon Swarm. Oh, I got Severing Fang, huh? How many times did I use Tiger Blade? All right, so eventually I'll be able to cancel and use, uh, I think Severing, Severing Fang is a move he can use in the air after several hundred uses. Like, after 200 uses, I think he can use it in the air. Here we go. Damn. We're done. We're done. He just got beat down. He just got beat down. He just got beat down. All right, if we come over here, there's a chest all the way at the end. And there's a chest right here. Growing Earth. Damn, Patty probably came back with something else, didn't she? No, she didn't this time. Aries, Combo Plus, Growing Earth, Crucible, Shark's Tail. Oh, man. It's a lot of stuff we need to be learning right now. You definitely shouldn't have that on, buddy. Ice coffee. Coffee. Quick turn, we'll give you that. All right, hopefully we'll find a weapon for uh, Raven to do, or to use. Red Sage, huh? So we're gonna use a Holy Bottle really quick. Try to get behind him, yeah. Yeah, it looks like I didn't have to fight you, dummy. You're like, yeah, well, yeah? Well, yeah, your, mo your mom was, uh, your mom was dumb, yeah. Yeah. She, she didn't know many things. Yeah. That's an insult. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, kid? Look at this. Some of these pathways look very um, confusing, but, you know, should be pretty easy to get into once you see where you need to go. High fatal tension. Enter over level one when a FS is used in the FS chain of four or higher. Duration of the overland only lasts half the normal time. This must be new. I don't remember this. Oh, this is actually really godlike. Yo, Carol. Carol, this is actually really good. So you'll enter over limit level one 
When is the FS chain of four or higher? <coughs> That's actually really good. That'll be super good for Yuri. But you know what? Yuri gets tension. He, he gets like regular tension where he can just do a combo of a certain number and then and he goes in the over limit right there. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. You're going bye-bye. Sayonara, bye-bye. <laughs> Scale type. Oh, turn around, bro. Resist field. Yeah, let me get a bit. Let me get a bit of that. Yeah, mm, delicious. I can do this now. So that was another altered art. What does she have? Ice deluge. She has great deluge. That's probably what it was necessary. So I'm gonna actually look at it. So resist turns into resist field if you have dispersion equipped. I mean, if she does it a hundred times. No, for magic skills, if you use them fifty times, if you use magic skills fifty times, you can get the um, altered version of it. If you if you use an altered art. 50 times you learn it for magic they have to be magic based nice hold on let me get it let me get into that ah oh, damn but anyway um yeah for regular arts if for you to learn um regular arts altered arts you got to use them 100 times but if it's a magic spell like a spell you have to use that spell 50 times in order to learn the altered art. <coughs> I'm just getting started. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we're getting a lot of good stuff here. The battle music reminds you of the Golden Sun series. Believe it or not, believe it or not. Uh, the music is actually done by the same composer. The same composer that did Golden Sun's music did um, the music for this game as well. <coughs> so how do I get over there? This looks a tad bit confusing. But I think I just have to come back later and knock this uh, pile of rocks out the way. Oh, look at this guy. Um, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Oh yeah, the hunting blades are here. That's interesting. You'll be good. Really, you like putting on combos, huh? I got a combo for you right here, buddy. Come on. That's weird. I try to uh, use a fatal strike. All right, buddy, you're you're next. Got him. All right, here we go. Yay! Ba 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 ba. we did. Make that damn meat sauce. It's gonna help us. It's gonna help out a lot. All right, so. All right, I'll fight him, you know. Man, could you be any? Could you be any? 
Weaker? Weaker? Don't let him trip you up. I am so good to make you hurt. Ready? Spiral Blast! Ready? Okay. Tractor Beam. Ready? Tractor Beam! Ready? Tractor Beam! Ready? Spiral Blast! Ready? He smacked me with his tail. How dare you? Uh -huh. Good day. Good day. That's what happens when I get serious. He just got serious. He just got serious. <laughs> All right, dude. This game is crack. Cocaine is great. It's not it's not crack cocaine, but it, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty addicting. Alright, let's get through these guys. Uh-oh. Is there a fight coming up? I don't know. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Damn. Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Ah... <sighs> If only I died then, things would have been so much easier too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but 10-year-old girls are definitely off limits for me. <laughs> Hold on, learn, learn guys. Raven, Raven just said a lot. <laughs> Ten-year-old girls are definitely off limits for me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle. So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But, wow, you were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool. I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. All right, man. Keep that promise. Oh, I gotta fight this big dude. Like, yeah, yeah, you thought you was coming up here, player? You're gonna have to you burn me down. You. You're gonna have to chop me down with that axe of yours, player. <laughs> Ow! And let me get out of that situation. Leave me alone, guys! Come on, give me a break, guys! Give me a break! God damn! Yeah, that's what I want to see, Rita. Did I just jump out of that? Whoa. Interesting. That is a very interesting thing I just did. I jumped out of that. Take that, take this, take this, take that, take it. Da, 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 da. 
Man, I'm gonna need you to learn how to make some goddamn meat sauce. Like, you ain't you ain't been making this meat sauce, Patty. I don't want to assign somebody else to do the job, you know? I feel like you could do it. Pissing me off. Crimson Phoenix plus one? Are you serious? It looks like I didn't have to fuse that one. Da 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 Look at that guy, like, yeah, man. Um, are you hiding anything over here? I feel like we should fight here so we can get all the way to the right side here. There might be something over here. Get ready. I'm taking I'm gonna take you out. You down. Nah, you ain't getting away, little girl. Nope. Welcome to the tractor beam. You just got set up. Thank you, dog. The dog caught her slipping. Think, think before you use your arts. Guess I overdid it. Oh, you're good. Everybody's rolling up, running low on uh, TP. I'm not letting them use uh, items because I'm trying to save TP for the upcoming boss fight. Yuri's good because he has combo voltage, which allows him to, you know, build up TP from doing certain amount of hits in a combo. Tribal guard, really. Yeah, they try to hide that. Y'all trying to hide chess from me, the RPG god? And capable of capturing enemies without harm. All right, good thing we got that. We got a weapon for Judy, big booty Judy. Oh, yikes. All right, save point coming up. All right, so y'all just gonna uh, explore this without using a save point. Y'all just gonna cut to this. I just gonna cut to the chase. This is Critian City. More like the remains was. of one. <laughs> this is a Critian City. It was a Critian City. What do you mean? There might be some treasure around <clears throat> here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. <sighs> Bruh. Yikes, I was hoping for a save point before Judith! this. Oh, it is her. You. Cosmos? That's not Judith. Damn you! Go inform Tyson and Nan. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him. You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Damn, Anyone meet those. Who interrupts our conversation is gonna be taking a long nap. Meet those pulled out the heat. Leave now. Or do you really want to do this? <laughs> Them thugs, yes. dude. Brave Vespera is just nothing but a bunch of thugs. They have no morals. <laughs> you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing the Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. 
Getting a little bit too edgy there, bud. No, nah, I'm just messing with you. I... Alright, we're gonna watch this skit and then we're gonna save and then end the episode. The hunting blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the hunting blades? I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yup. Alright. So we're gonna save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we're gonna be back with more Tales of Vesperia. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on YouTube. Or maybe next week, depending on if this is episode 40 or 39.